Today we are going to talk about the data sharing feature in Zoho CRM. It's an extremely powerful feature that not too many people use it and hopefully today I will be able to share with you the information about the data sharing so you can take advantage of it. If during this lesson you feel that this is a valuable information, I will appreciate thumbs up. It really, really helps me personally and this YouTube channel. Let's begin. The data sharing feature is able to override permissions from the role system. If you took my roles a lesson, you will understand that the hierarchy of the roles is allowing you to define data permissions, which means the CEO is on the top of the tree and he can see the data for each one of the roles below him. From the other side, the copywriter can see the writer's data, but he cannot see the CTO's data because the CTO is above him. Okay, so you can always see the data of yourself and the people below you. Now, let's assume for this example that the writer is supposed to review the deals that the bookkeeper is creating. Now, in this case, the writer is not able to see any records of the bookkeeper because the bookkeeper is two levels above him. First level will be the copywriter and second level will be the CTO and the copywriter. So in this case, I need to give permissions to the writer to see the bookkeeper data, but only, only for the deals module. Okay, so this is what we're going to do right now. On the top, you can see under, let's start from the beginning so you can see all the way. So you go to the settings, then you go to security control, and then you go to data sharing settings on the top. You will see here the basic definition of all the different modules. As you can see here, the leads are private, accounts are private, you can see that most of them are private. Private means that only the person who created the record or the people above him in terms of the role's hierarchy can see the data. That's what private means. If you like, for example, the entire organization to see all the leads of all the company, so every user, every person in the company can see everything, you can click on the leads and you can change it, for example, to public read only. That means that every person in the company can see the records. They cannot edit, but they can only see. The second permission will be public read, write, delete, which means they get full permission. Every employee in the company can make any changes on any leads, even if it's not related to them and they are not the owners of the lead. Let's take it back to private because this is how I want it to be. And as I saw, I told you before, the writer supposed to get access to the deals that were created by the bookkeeper. I will go again to the data sharing settings and I will scroll down and you can see here sharing rules. Those will be the custom rules that we are going to talk about and the opportunities are the deals of my system. As you already know, I renamed deals to opportunities. I will click here on new sharing rules and then I will have a way to transfer some, um, not really transfer, I will be able to share some permissions from one role to another. So here I will go, for example, to the roles and I will have here the bookkeeper because I want the writer to see the same permissions, the same data that the bookkeeper can see. So I'm going to share 
from bookkeeper to the writer. So the result in this case is that whenever the bookkeeper is creating records, the writer will be able to see them and provide some comments. Okay, so this is really what I did here. And once I click on create sharing rule, bang. If the writer will go to the opportunities, he will be able to see the same data as the bookkeeper. Whatever the bookkeeper can see, this is exactly what the writer will be able to see specifically for the opportunities module, which is the deals module. Okay, so uh, those, those kind of uh, features are very handy. I saw multiple times that there were companies that were trying to provide specific uh, permissions to specific people in the company and because they did not know about the data sharing, they ended up giving the writer, for example, an administrator permission just so they can continue on working. But that's not really the way to do it. The data sharing will enable you to provide specific laser point permissions to specific people in the company so they can fulfill their jobs. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you will take advantage of this good feature. Uh, I'm using it every day for different clients. I think it's amazing. If you like the video, thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, drop them in the comments below. I will see you in the next session.